All right, you guys, today is going to be another total carb video. So in this video, I will be sharing with you what I eat today, and I will be sharing with you the total carbs. We are doing another day of total carbs in this video. So you will see what I eat, and it actually worked out to be an OMAD day. So if you're interested in getting some ideas, meal ideas, in order to stay under your 20 total carbs, then keep on watching. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Janet and if you're new here, make sure you hit that red subscribe button. Give this video a like to let me know that you're liking my content and make sure that you're hitting that notification bell so YouTube can notify you when I upload a new video. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you guys so much for being here. I appreciate all of you watching my videos, liking and commenting and welcome back to my channel. Good Sunday morning. Whew, let's get that out of my mouth and say some correct words. I haven't had my coffee yet, that's why. I feel like I don't even start talking correctly until after my coffee. Uh, so you guys seen the way that I made my coffee today. I made it a little bit different, you guys. I wanted to try out that chocolate premier protein in my coffee. I think one of these days I, I will try it with an iced coffee. Maybe even like later on, maybe I'll even try like a, a half a cup or something of iced coffee. Um, I already had a sip of it and it is actually really, really good, especially with that chocolate, um, perfect keto chocolate collagen. Super, super good, you guys. So this is how I have my coffee. Um, you guys already know, but today I just mixed it up and had a little bit of chocolate. It is so good. I always have the link down below. Um, I buy my collagen here in Canada. I can't necessarily get the perfect key. Well, I can get it. I just pay a lot for shipping, unfortunately. And with exchange, it just works out to be a lot more than me ordering off of Amazon for my perfect keto collagen. Um, so I always have that link down below for all my Canadian subscribers, you guys. Make sure you check it out. Um, I've had the chocolate and the, the caramel and now the cinnamon toast and they're all really, really good. Um, cinnamon toast is probably maybe my favorite and then followed by the caramel. I'm a big caramel person, so I love it. Surprisingly, I haven't had vanilla because that's usually my flavor that I go to between like chocolate and vanilla is, is vanilla. Um, so I'm just enjoying my coffee here this morning. It's really, really good. You guys, I couldn't get to sleep last night for the life of me. I finally, last time I looked at the clock, it was like three o'clock. I don't know why I couldn't sleep. I had kind of like a mild headache last night, actually. And I had it all day. So I don't know if it's kind of like my sinuses now that weather is starting to get nicer and things are starting to bloom here. I have really, really bad allergies. I've mentioned this before. Um, um, 
and they just seem to be being like really, really bad this, this week. So I think things are blossoming and spring is starting. So that means my allergies are starting as well too. So I did take an Advil last night because I didn't have any headache pills. Um, and it seemed to help. I still have a mild headache. So hopefully maybe the caffeine will help because sometimes the mixture of caffeine and like ibuprofen, I think it is, or no, acetaminophen, acetaminophen. And however you pronounce that, I still, I'm drinking my coffee, right? <laughs> it helps get your headache um, away. So anyways, I want to keep you guys posted on the tree Sega. Um, Jimmy has a really bad back. He's already had one back surgery. Uh, he was in the Canadian military for 20 years. He served. And during the last two years, he actually got his back surgery because his back was so bad from being in the military. He was a tanker, so um, during his time in the military career, he um, really did a number on his back, right? Um, a lot of guys from the military, it's always their back or the neck, and actually Jimmy has had both surgeries. He said one on his back, and he's had one on his neck, where they literally like take out all the debris and give you an artificial disc, and they fuse your back. Um, it's actually, I think it's titanium rods that are in his back as well too. Um, but he keeps mobile. He never complains about his back. He's in constant pain, but he, he's one to never complain about his back. And he will still do um, whatever he wants to do, right? So like yesterday, he wanted to start taking down that tree. So he still does it, but... But he pays the price. So last night he didn't get done until like it was later. Like he took breaks in between. And um, pretty much where I showed you guys is where he finished with the tree. He finished um, breaking down all of the branches and, and doing that part of it. But as far as the, the tree stump itself, um, he didn't complete that because he was hurting. He ended up having an Epsom salt bath and trying to get comfortable in order to go to sleep but he he suffered so i didn't know if today he would be back at it but he is because sometimes when you do have a bad back staying mobile is the best thing so let me show you guys the progress on the tree this morning when i woke up mind you it is a little after 10 i didn't get to bed until after three so that's why i once again slept in i have a whole weekend off Again, so it's crazy. So let me show you the progress on the tree. I know you guys are all dying to see the progress. So um, that is the second load of the tree debris, if you want to say, things that you can't burn and just kind of the branches, right? Over there, Jimmy, um, we go camping lots, right, in the mountains. So we always look, have tons of firewood. So, <laughs> and now he sees me. So, um, anyways, so that is the, look at that, you guys. I woke up to the tree stump being gone. I am so happy. So we just put some paint over it. Um, that seems to work for the tree not growing back. We've done it before on a few branches, and it seems to definitely work. Um, so, anyways, that is the tree saga, you guys. And he did dig out a little bit of it just so we want to get actually crushed stone on all of our front lawn because we live relatively like the desert here in southern alberta it gets really really hot and our lawn just has never took to grass so we are in the midst of getting some crushed stone like we did on our driveway um uh, that is all new crushed stone that we have on our driveway um, we got it delivered and then jimmy just flattened it out and rolled it but eventually we just want to get all crushed stone within the next week or two and um, maybe get like something decorative like that nice white um, rock and just put something decorative because this grass just will not grow in our dry season so that's the status it is all done so jimmy is just uh probably breaking this up so that we can take those big stumps camping as well too so it's all done all right, you guys, so I'm just going to finish my coffee here, and I had a video on YouTube go go live today, so I'm just going to make sure that everything is correct on that video. I always usually double check once it goes live, and I will see you guys once meal one comes around. I'll probably be eating a little bit later. I actually don't feel too, too hungry, so I might be having meal one a little bit later on this afternoon, like maybe one or two we'll see we'll see what happens and i don't even know i kind of have a few ideas of what i want today so we will see what i make in meal number one
All right, you guys, we did um, kind of a change of plans, even though I am doing uh, what I eat in a day. Um, I think I'm just gonna have one meal a day because I haven't eaten yet, and it is four o'clock. So we ended up just coming into town and got a few groceries because we are going to have a barbecue tonight. So we ended up buying some burgers and some hot dogs, and we're gonna have a barbecue tonight because it is so nice out. And that is what's going to be for supper, you guys. So I will keep you posted. <laughs> I will keep you posted on um, supper when we get back home. Like I said, it is, well, it's nice out now. Actually, when we left the house, it was pouring rain, but it's pretty nice out now. So I think we're gonna barbecue these. And I will show you guys in the next clip once we get home. All right, you guys, we are back home. We quickly went into town, stopped at a friend's place and just wanted to pick up a few groceries for tonight's supper. Um, so we are having burgers and hot dogs and my family is going to have some potato salad and I probably will make my homemade um, macaroni salad too if I have time. So that is what we are going to be having for supper. I still haven't eaten anything yet today because um, we were gone most of the afternoon. So just never had an opportunity to have something to eat. So I thought I would just make this kind of like an OMAD, which is one meal a day. So I will show you guys the burgers that I got. Um, so we were kind of like in a hurry when we got these groceries. So I didn't have time to kind of like look at the macros. So these were the ones that I ended up getting. So this is why it's important for you guys to check your macros. So we quickly grabbed this one here and reading on the back, it has for one burger, it has 31 grams of fat, five carbs with one gram of fiber, which would make it four net carbs. So this is pretty high in carbs. You guys always know that I buy the zero carb burgers when I can, but we were at a different grocery store this time. And like I said, just quickly picked up these burgers, which is fine because since I am having just the one meal a day, it's not gonna be too big of a deal for me to have a couple of these burgers. I still will definitely be under the 20 uh, net carbs or total carbs, whatever you're following. And I also picked up some hot dogs as well too. So these ones here are just like regular normal hot dogs and they only have one carb per hot dog. So these are actually pretty, pretty low in carbs, but just make sure that you guys are checking, especially now that we're coming upon barbecue season, make sure that you're checking your burgers and your hot dogs to make sure that they are low in carbs because they do put fillers in those products. Um, so I am going to start up the barbecue and we are going to get these put on the barbecue and have dinner in a little bit. So I will catch you guys in the next clip. All right, you guys, the barbecue is going. And these burgers as well, they're pretty thin. The normally the ones that I buy are a little bit thicker, but like I said, I went to a different grocery store, but they are still looking really, really good, which is awesome. I love barbecue season. How about you guys? Are you guys big fans of a barbecue season and having burgers and hot dogs? Like, for the rest of the summer, I pretty much live off of burgers and hot dogs. I love them so much and I rarely get sick of them. So I'm just gonna finish cooking up these. I'm the one that does all the barbecuing in our household. Jimmy is a really good, um, he's really good at barbecuing, but I just tend to do all the barbecuing. I don't know, I just always has been that way. I'm gonna let these cook for a little while longer, probably just a little five minutes or so, and then we will get ready for supper and you will see what's on my plate and what I'm going to be having for dinner, you guys. All right, so since I'm having, I'm gonna have two hot dogs, I'm going to make a cheese wrap to wrap around the hot dogs. I've done this before and it's really, really good. So all I do is just put some cheese in a frying pan and I just melt it. I have it just on kind of like uh, medium low right now. And it usually takes a couple mi minutes until the cheese starts melting and then it starts getting um, crispy around the edges. So I will wait until it does that and then I will show you guys what I do next. Right, so this is getting crispy along the edges and almost done. So what I am going to do is I just put my hot dog in like that and then I'll just roll it up. I'll do that actually one second, I need both hands for that. And then I'll roll it up and then I'll show you guys the final product. 
All right, you guys, that is what it looks like in the end. It's just literally a hot dog rolled up in cheese and it's really, really, really good. So now I'm going to assemble my burger and I will show you what I will put on my burger. All right, you guys, so I am ready to assemble my burger and I also picked up because I did use all of my romaine lettuce last night. I bought a brand new one and I'm going to make mine as a lettuce wrapped burger. So I am going to take two of these bigger size ones. There we go. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my burger. Don't worry, I have washed my hands, you guys. And I am going to put on my burger, I'm going to put some mayo. also going to put some shredded cheese as well too. If you have the chance to use shredded cheese instead of the sliced cheese, make sure you do because the sliced cheese actually has, I think it's like, it could be even three carbs actually in, in one slice. And I'm also going to put a little bit of the no sugar ketchup on it. Just having supper. What's going on? What's new with you? Mm -hmm. oh. Honey. Honey. Oh, you guys look so cute. Yes, you do. Did you notice anything missing in our front yard? The tree? Is it gone? Hey, some more. Are those keto fries? I don't know. <laughs> I need a crunchier one. Okay, so are you going to sit here with them? <laughs> yeah. Oh. All right, you guys, this is my dinner for tonight. I have a lettuce wrapped burger. Um, you've seen me put on some bacon and some pickles on my burger and lettuce wrapped. And then I did make some coleslaw with some coleslaw dressing on it that I just had out of the bottle. And then I have my cheese wrapped hot dog there as well too so that is going to be my dinner for tonight you guys i will put the calories and the total carbs on the screen right now also wanted to say that i am having a diet a and w root beer as well with my meal all right everyone that is the end of the video thank you so much for watching this what i eat in a day with me and kind of worked out to be an OMAD day, which was kind of worked out good. So I worked in all of my calories into one meal today. So I will put uh, my total calories and my total uh, carbs on the screen. And I believe if I put it all in my fitness pal correctly, I hit exactly 20 total carbs, you guys. So it was a perfect day of eating. And that's the good thing about eating the one meal a day is I feel like I get a lot of fuller throughout the day um, because I do combine all of my calories into one meal. So definitely recommend you guys if you guys kind of like are a volume eater, I highly recommend you guys doing the one meal a day it really helps you keep on track. Then you're kind of not like grazing and eating so many throughout eat so many meals throughout the day where you're kind of constantly feel hungry because you don't get enough um, calories at one sitting. So that is why I like the OMAD. I don't do it too, too often, but today it just worked out um, to be that way, which was perfect, you guys. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that red subscribe button. Give this video a like to let me know that you're liking my content. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so that YouTube can remind you when I upload a new video. Thanks for watching.